Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's another little use it up project and this is a little diddy dinky box. Oh, I wish I hadn't undone that though. I'm never getting that done up here. That is open like that to put your little treats in and it's a wrap around paper box. And this is a great one for using up scraps of paper because you just literally need a little scrap. So that's my bit that I'm using here and a little piece of cardstock and this is the I want to call it pattern pay pattern pattern pay pattern play can't remember it's the um free paper right at the back of the catalog and it's called oh pattern party not pattern play um and you get it free and obviously that's gonna be finishing at least I assume it is I haven't seen the catalog yet but it's a great way to use it up and this was the from it and I wanted to keep the black and white but I'm going red for my strawberry so this one was um, magenta madness real red this time okay so for your box for this part you need a piece of cardstock that's six and a half by four inches 16 by 10 centimeters and we're going to score it on the long side at one three four and six which in metric is two and a half seven and a half ten and fifteen and then on the short side, score it at one inch, two and a half centimetres. OK, we're not going to score the paper because we're going to wrap that round the box. Um, but for reference, two inches by nine and a half inches, which is five by 24, because the finished size of the box is a three, two, one box. One inch by two inches by three inches, which is two and a half by five by seven and a half. So let's get this burnished up and built. Because you have to build the box before you wrap it. At the point in time I'm filming, I have no idea what I'm calling this box. I probably, I think I might call it a three, two, one wrap around box. Dinu. So that was the skinny bit. I've just taken away the, I mitered at the top and taken away that area. And I'm cutting straight on the rectangle and wedging those squares. I'm doing that. I don't normally do that on a box like that's this shape, but I'm doing it because it's very, well, it's not very small, but it's smaller. Okay. And then some tear and tape along there. I'll peel off the backing and fold over. And I'm going to fold in the back. The two sides, which I might look put a little little blob of glue on. And then what will be the front? Although to be fair, you'd never know which was front and back because you know we've got paper covering it. But we'll call that the front. Okay, then with our piece of paper, you line that bit up. Oh, I need to punch one end. Oh, forgot that. Need to punch one end. And this is my fancy schmancy tag topper, whose name I've forgotten. I don't know. Is this ornate or is it scalloped? One or the other. So, oh, I didn't let my glue dry. So that's one end, but it's the opposite end. You start at the top, so it lines up, get hold of it, and gently bend to form a crease and then just keep wrapping round as you can see that I'm doing and at this stage nothing is glued in place it's just there hovering right. so now I've got the rough marks done. I'm going to come in and burnish. Okay, and then I can start getting this in position. This is one that I do like to use liquid glue on. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, a little on the base. And a bit round the front and the back. 
And I'm going to start by putting it on the base first and folding up the front and then the back. And it just gives me a little bit of wibble room. That is such a technical term, wibble room. So let me get the lid back on this glue. I know everybody's going to ask me where I got this from. It was a lovely girl on my team, uh, Rachel sent this to me, Rachel Burkett, she sent this to me and I suspect it's 3D printed, yes something 3D, but she sent it to me and it just holds that. So I don't know where she got it from. Right, okay so that's the box on and it's just like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to take a paper piercer and I'm going to go through this little hole here. I'm going to go through the, straight through there and just make a little mark that I can see you probably can't. Push my paper piercer through and then I'm going to get a hole punch and make it a little tiny bit bigger. Okay so the ribbon I'm using for this because I've got real red here I've got the real red satin ribbon which is actually my favourite it's the one I put on my scissors and no for anybody asking still haven't found my other new pair. <sighs> Okay, so I'm folding it in half and I'm going to feed it through from front to back. Pull it through a little way. Oops. And then tie a knot where that doubled over end is. And I'm going to try and tie a knot slippery ribbon doesn't want to play okay so that knot there is going to stop this ribbon being pulled through oh I didn't make that ribbon anywhere near long enough did I oh wish me luck tying this bow <gasps> particularly as I now got two my ends are two different lengths <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's try and tie a bow. I will do my best. It's only a little bit wibbly, but actually I can twist it. That's not bad. Just trim off the ends. And that is my cute little box closed. Right, let's finish off with some stamping. I had some Whisper White, it's here in front of me. So, Sweet Strawberry goes with the Strawberry Builder Punch, which is just here. So, I'm going to start off by doing the solid and then the outline. And just, is that just the solid? No, that's the outline only of the leaf, the top. Bit, that bit. So, and I'm using this time real red and garden green. So what I want to look at is the position that my strawberries punch out at so it's that way up. So first things first, take your real red, stamp off and then stamp and then with the outline don't stamp off and just go round it. I hope that lines up, that didn't line up, let's do that again. Let's see what that's like on a third go. Mm -hmm. That lined up better and looks better. Okay, so that's that one done. So I'm just going to hack that off because I've managed to get red ink everywhere. And then again, I'm going to look at where my punch out will be and get my garden green and position it there. And then very quickly before I do that, I'm just going to use a little wink of Stella just to make that colour bleed a bit. 
that's just smudged it up a little bit to get the colour. So first off, let me punch that one out. There it is. And then my strawberry. Over there. And the way I like to do this is I get a couple of glue dots behind the leaves towards the top. Grab a couple of them and just line it up. I need to move that tiny bit higher. There we go. And then all I need to do now, get some dimensionals, a couple of those on the back. off the backing with that one. Two of those on the front and cute, cute little project. We'll pretend that that bow's done up. Very sweet. What do you think? Do we like red strawberries or pink strawberries? Isn't it funny that strawberry coloured stuff generally tends to be pink? Actually they're red. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.